it's Sonia Wagner, your soul fulfillment guide here at the Zen Rumen Studio in Stovall, Ontario. And yes, you've also heard me uh, say that I'm a holistic esthetician and hair artist, yoga instructor. This is also true. And today I am bringing you this month's Oracle of Flower Essence reading with our favorite deck of cards, Flower Spirits by Melanie and Claire for the month of May. So if you're ready, stay tuned. All right, so here we are for May. I'm going to check in with the energies of what flower spirit wants to invite us to explore its message, that it's a gift and contribution to us. So let's just take a deep breath in and out. Collectively, let's see what the message is for us. Okay, so we have two flowers. So we have Nigella and this is Luca Joem. I am still within whilst all around me is moving. I am still within whilst all around me is moving. So the invitation is for you to, for us, <laughs> to remember to pay attention to where is our awareness, where is our spirit, where is our consciousness, and to remember uh to bring it to be behind our eyes sinking down through our throats and into our hearts right down into our solar plexus and down through our sacral chakra through our root chakra down through the bottom of our feet connecting with the earth and bring that back up through our central channel through the spine through the vortex through the chakra vortexes up out through the crown out through the uh, through the stratosphere connecting to the sun and bringing that down and feeling all of those um expansive energies the sun knowledge the earth wisdom the collective consciousness of the universe you tapping in to that natural vitality and knowing with you as creator Taking a deep breath in and exhaling and feeling that expanding into your cells and into the space between your cells and feeling that expansive knowing of ease and plenty and your, you know, calm. And from that space, choose what's next for you and your family at work with your clients what is actually presenting next to do from your to-do list from your to-be list from what there is to create what is next that lights you up i stay in the present by keeping my energy field clear so luca joam I stay in the present by keeping my energy field clear. So when we practice the invitation from Nigella to stay within your own eye of the storm, within your own consciousness, then you can be your presence. That's you being your presence in the now moment. And then you are clear. Your energy field is clear because you are embodying and embracing all of you and beaming that out uh, into the world. And so if you find yourself um, feeling anxious or discombobulated, not feeling like you're the eye of the storm because you got into your own head, into old past stories, or somehow you got you know, sucked into somebody else's, it's okay, <laughs> not to worry. One of the great tools that Luca Joan offers 
is to clear your energy field. So I've shared this tool before, happy to share it again. So what you can do is if you've got some space and you're able to do it right now, is to have some space where you can stand ideally and reach your hands over your shoulder, <laughs> uh, over your head actually, and in taking a deep breath in and as you exhale, uh, bending forward through the hips and clearing over the tops of your feet and say the word clear. So you would inhale, clear. I'm not bending over because I'm going to hit myself on this bookcase I'm standing behind. So that brings me to the next way that you can do it or one of the ways you make it your own. I even have sometimes gone into bed because I'm I'm tired, it's been a busy day, and maybe I haven't even followed, followed what I share with you guys. I'm human too, and I'm on this journey too. So sometimes I'm even just lying in bed, and before I go to sleep at night, one of the things I do is declare the day complete. Anything that's left over from the day that has my mind or my energy is going, ah, I'm behind or whatever, has me not going into peaceful sleep. I just say higher levels, you take care of it. My cosmic support team, you take care of it. Tomorrow's a new day. If there's something for me to continue doing, I will. Maybe somebody else is going to take care of it in a better way than even me. And I am open to that. So what you can do is say clear and you can just be lying there and just imagine that your aura, your energy around you, even inside yourself, just clear. Just say clear three times, like you mean it, really let it go. <laughs> uh, and not doubt that, you know, anything is gonna be taken care of or that, you know, the world is gonna fall apart because I promise you, it's not, <laughs> okay? We are so loved. Uh, beyond what we know and just being open to seeing how things come to you, the solutions, the answers. Um, we aren't alone. So I know that we have been sort of told that we are. Um, that's another video. Right now, let's just focus on being in our presence Having our energy field cleared, find your calm, find your inner peace, and connecting with the love and light that you are. Not from a woo-woo space, but really the essence of who you are, who I am as Sonia, who you are as you, my love, <laughs> and being that out in the world, one breath at a time. That is our invitation for May. Thank you so much for being here with me. Let me know in the comments below what you took away from this and how you will be integrating and using these uh, invitations from Nigella and Luca John in the month of May and going forward. Namaste.